Harvey, a very warm welcome to Bristol Rovers. You must be delighted to be here, signed up for the next season and the year beyond. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it's a, it's a big club. Um, straight away, that was an attraction. I thought as soon as I heard that the Bristol Rovers were coming in, um, let's say that was a massive attraction, especially the fact that uh, the gaffer and the coaching staff were here for, um, and obviously working with them before. Um, as soon as they come in, um, it was the only option really, and like I say, just to ice on the cake there to club as big as this. Talk to us about that relationship with working under Jerry previously. I know he's kind of got the best out of you in the past, hasn't he? Yeah, um, I think him and the coaching staff, um, for me personally, have been really good. I can go and speak to them. I need someone to tell me that the things I'm not doing right. I don't just want to hear what you're doing. I want to know that there's no beating around the bush. It'll tell me straight, this is what you're not doing. This is what you need to do. Crack on and do it. Um, and like I said, I think that just develops as a player, and that's what I want to do, really. Last season, fair to say it was kind of a, a standout year for you and your progression? Yeah. Um, you know, that was my first real kind of taste of the professional game. Um, and like I said, I was glad just to get on the pitch as many times as I could and um, score a few goals. Early last season, the kind of the goal form really ticked for you, didn't it? I think you had nine goals up until the end of October, so something there really kind of clicked into place. Yeah, I think it was um, confidence, I think. I think, like I say, working with the gaffer and the coaching staff, the, like I say, they know I'll get the best out of us. Um, and like I say, it was just a bit of confidence, and hopefully I can get that back and do it here. Talk to us about your beginnings in football. You're someone who's kind of had to forge your way through the, the non-league pathway, aren't, aren't you? Yeah. Um, I said I didn't start till I was late, but as soon as the opportunity came to kind of go up the leagues, I was jumping in straight away. Um, and like I said, there's the fact that I can play full time football now instead of working every day is, uh, is brilliant, yeah. Describe yourself as a player to the fans. You know, what kind of traits do you have in your game that can benefit us next season? Um, I think my main one is the speed. Um, you know, I'd like to run and we work right as well. Um, I think they're my two main ones that I'll be giving to the team, you know. And just like I say, just improving on everything else as I can. Next season, fans will be back here and the men will be loud and proud. You must be looking forward to be playing in that atmosphere week in and week out. Yeah, definitely. I think, um, especially after this year, having no fans in at all, I think uh, coming to somewhere like this with the amount of fans we're going to have is uh, it's going to be brilliant. I think it's going to be horrible for the away team and that's what you want to make it, but it's going to be brilliant for us. Some familiar faces in the dressing room, obviously, you'll know from your time at Fleetwood, Paul Coots and Sam Finley. That, well, that age will kind of transition into a, a new dressing room? Yeah, um, I think they were both two good lads, um, you know, on the pitch and off the pitch. I think you can learn off them. I think uh, Cutie especially was one that, when I was at Fleetwood at the start, he really helped me. Um, you know, things like training and everything, you can speak to him and you know that he's going to help you in every way you can. Have you set yourself any goals for next season? Um, not massively. Um, you know, I've just kind of come, I want to enjoy my football again. Uh, you know, hit that confidence again and get playing as much as I can and you know, just score as many goals as I can.